Kon Bonwa, good evening, Khajiit. It is I, Loki the Mad Titan, and welcome to episode 20. Episode 20 of Skyrim Modded, Rigmore of Bruma. And I have a strong, strong suspicion that this is going to be the last episode. But I said that, I think, in the last episode. And I think I said it going all the way back to episode 10. So, clearly showing I have absolutely positively no idea how long this mod is. If you, which I hope you did, watch the last episode, we finally rescued Rigmore from Malakath, who is trying to become Trinimac or something like that. I had to go through the Oblivion Gate and destroy the Sigil Stone. I feel like I took those potions already. Um, sadly, and frustratingly, Rigmore does not remember me. Bara and Dar, do you have anything to say about that? Hmm? Need something? Yeah, I need, I need Rigmore to remember who I am, because I'm playing this mod for 20 episodes now, and the whole point was, you know, to form a bond with her and everything, and now she doesn't remember who I am. So that's kind of a bummer. So then I was like, take a nap. That's what it said. It was like, hey, go, go, go take a nap. And I'm like, oh, okay. And I get to sleep on the floor. I can't sleep in any of these beds. So I get to sleep on the, on the Dragonborn. The Guardian gets, gets to sleep on the floor. So here we go. Oh, it's a kind of reasonable bedtime. 11.29. Uh, let's do... Let's do 10 hours? 10 hours. Sounds, you know, in real life that's what I'd like to get. 10 hours, 10, 12 hours. So, this is the first time they've made me sleep. Not sure what we're going to counter here. Check on Sagan. Check with Sagan about Rigmore. Alright, yeah, I'm sure my back feels great after sleeping on the floor. Thanks, guys. Couldn't, uh... Let me... There's not, they're not even in their beds. Nobody... Did you do sit at the table all night long? Alright. Yeah, they're pretty much exactly... I guess Angie left. Okay. Everybody's... Everybody's gone except for Barandar and Sagun. Well met. How is she? Has she calmed down? Yes, I think so. She's sitting on the porch. Go and speak to her. Okay, that delivery of that line was fairly robotic. I will go talk to Rigmore now. Now, we're still hoping that we get to fight till our Adrath and kill him because I've been wanting to do that ever since we followed him <laughs> all the way back to solitude on the horse which we clearly were not supposed to do and then couldn't really do anything with him Sorella was uh, glitching over there all right so hey Rigmore with uh, the golden eyes and Suddenly hair the hair grew very quickly out of nowhere. All right. I'll sit down. We can have a chat Girl to girl Hey Hi Are you feeling better today? Yeah, I think so I'm sorry about you know Not remembering who I am it's fine, don't worry about it. Mom says you came for me. That you were my guardian? You're safe now, that's all that matters. So she still doesn't know who I am. Will they come for me again? Not if they know what's good for them. Yeah, because I laid the smack down. What did they want with me? Let's just say you're special. And they were going to murder you to death, so Malakath come back or something, turn into Trinimac, I, I really didn't 
completely understand it myself. Guardian, I keep having this dream. Is is it reoccurring? Well, if she keeps having it, then it's reoccurring. But but all right, I'm, now it seems like I'm picking on the mod. I'm, I swear I'm not. Mhm. Mm There's a little girl. I can hear her crying. She's all alone in the dark. I can't see her, so I follow the sound of her sobbing. I find her. She has her back to me. And I approach, and she wants me to hold her hand. I take it, and then she leads me to a battlefield. The sky is black and rain is pouring down. There's a terrible storm, but she keeps pulling me forward. I don't want to follow her. I'm scared. And I let go of her hand and wake up every time. Dialogue available. All right. Do you recognize her? Is it Azura? Or is it young you? Or who is it? No. She wants to show me something. But I let go every time because I'm afraid. Rigmore, you've been through a lot. But I am having trouble remembering things. Everything is vague. I can't even remember my past. Before? When I was a little girl, all that is gone. Have you spoken to your mother or Ba Ren about this? I am finding it hard to connect with them. No matter how much I know I love them in my heart, I feel something is wrong. And I feel guilty, but I don't know why. All we have to connect us is this uncertainty uh, I don't know I'm, I'm bummed she didn't go like she normally does how do you feel about me comfortable protected safe I guess right now I think I need that a guardian You used to call me Dragonborn, remember? No, she doesn't remember, dude. I... I'm sorry. I guess I am about to rediscover a lot of things, right? I think I'll go take a walk. Try to clear my head. I mean, she did also call us Guardian a lot. So... It's not weird that she's calling me Guardian, because that was, she, like, through more than half the mod, she called me Guardian until Barandara decided to spill the beans out of nowhere and say, Oh, hey, uh, you're the Dragonborn, by the way, which I didn't even know, because, well, I haven't done any vanilla to know that I'm the Dragonborn. Thus, why there is no dragons in this beautiful sky. Right, so Rigmore's just, I don't like you walking that far away. Why am I moving. I fell off the step, I guess. Where is she going? Alright, just down there. Don't go any further. Alright, I have to go back and talk to her mommy. And her surrogate daddy. Did you say anything? Is her memory coming back? She Not does know who we are, doesn't she? Not really. Some say that to move forward, you sometimes have to go back. Sometimes, to remember who we are, we need to start from the beginning. Alright, you guys done with your scripted? Okay, that was cute. Alright. Hey, Mama. I like your, uh, eyeliner. Well met. <laughs> yeah, she also, she, she also, she knows you're a mom, and she also knows she loves you both dearly. So it must be just a temporary thing, like Baren says. Maybe she needs to jog her memory. You want me to bonk her on the head? She, <laughs> she's very traumatized. It's clearly going to take time. What about you, Dragonborn? 
Does she remember who you are? Nope. Vaguely, everything is uh, confusing. She is reluctant to go back. It hasn't been easy for her. Thank the God she's at least alive and well. Why don't you take Rigmor and revisit some places you have been? She would probably recognize. It could help with her recovery. Okay, so a, a tour of our uh, greatest hits. That Greetings. might work. That might work, Bob Ryan. She also wanted to visit the College of Winterhold. Yes, yes. That was something that, um... I can't remember who said that. Tendril Sathory? Who I couldn't remember his name in the previous episode. I kept doing the Sirloin Tendriloin. Excellent idea. By the way, your wanted status is revoked by the Empire. You'll both be free to proceed how you wish. Take care, Dragonborn. Okay, reassure Sagan. Something the matter? I'll take good care of her, Sagan. Why don't you take her this hunting clothing for the journey? Also, give her this sword, if she will take it. Good idea. So she, I'll see how she feels about traveling. We'll be here waiting. So I might have take it that after all that, she lost, <laughs> she lost the red dress that I obsessed about for several episodes to get her. All right, wait, where is she? Oh, she's still down there by the water. That, if so, that's a bummer. Oh, she's sitting down here by the water. Hey, Guardian. You checking up on me already? Yep. You like my backpack? Oh, beautiful view. Isn't it romantic? Hey, girl. Can I? Oh, I already did. So I hope that's okay. Can I join you? Uh-huh. I love it here. By the lake. It fills me with a wonderful sense of... of... freedom. We've been here before, haven't we? You and I... together, I mean. Yeah, it was like in a slightly different place, but yes. Yes, we have a little further up near Riften. That's what I just said. I wish I could remember what's been going on. It's kind of really weird. It's like Angie and Sorella. I feel like I've known them all my life, but I just don't recall any of the moments. Like a book with nothing on the pages. Baran says visiting pla revisiting places you've been could help. You know you enjoyed? Wonder if she remembers Rose. Hey, I would like that. We could visit the College of Winterhold too. You wanted to go there once, and yes, I've totally one hundred percent already brought her there, but we we will do that again. Can we take the horses? Yes. Alright, she's down apparently. You know, I wanted to ride Ren earlier, but Angie wouldn't allow it. Said it was too dangerous on my own and I wasn't dressed right. Well, you... you... I don't know what you're wearing, honestly. Here, take this Huntress gear. We've had... Well, we've had... We'll head out right away! Okay. How do I look? You look like Angie and your mom now. You look great. Take this sword, too. I... I can't. It's for your own protection, Rigmar. You'll need it. No. No. I'm sorry. I'm just not ready for that. Please. Hey, it's okay. Little steps. I'll look out for you. Guardian. Uh, you know when I said I felt like I knew everyone all my life, but just don't recall any of the moments? Well, it's the same with you. That other time I said I didn't know you. I don't know why I said that. I was just angry at myself, I guess. It's okay, you don't need to explain yourself to me. I feel safe with you. I want to remember. I do. Really. So, you just do what you gotta do. And I'll follow, okay? 
Well, there's a camp not far from here. We you pick flowers there once. Really? That's so cute. Let's go. Take Rigmore to Overlook Camp. Okie dokie, Artichokey. Let's go find our horsies. I don't remember which this one's mine up here, I believe. Alright. This is not going to work, right? Because I'm going to get on my horse and you're going to not get on your horse. And you also get on your horse. Chickens, watch out. Alright, let's try this again. See, look. I get on my horse. And then you get on your horse. Nope. You're not getting me here? Alright, watch. Watch. <laughs> Rigmore, pay close attention. Alright, she's on her horse. Go! Don't get off. No! Get back on. Get back on your horse. Hey, watch out. You squished my toe. No, oh, you're back to normal. Get on your horse. Hooray! We're gonna fast travel anyway. This one you wanted to go on the horse, so. Alright, so where is this? And away we go. Hey, I remember this place. All right, so she lost her horse and her hood. Oh my. It's all still here. So all that trouble getting her on the horse and then she immediately loses it. Yep, you remember this? That's quite a view, huh? This is the last place we came before it all went wrong, isn't it? You gave me a dress to wear. I did. And you let me pick flowers. I kept them and... And when you got hurt, I left you a trail in case you came for me. Did you see them? Yes, but it was already too late you were gone. That was, she's talking about back in that fort when I went all the way back through like the hundred dungeons instead of just going to that ladder where she left me a trail of mountain flowers to that I, when I went back and checked, I saw. Yeah. He tricked us, didn't he? He sure did. Is he still alive? Sadly, yes, because the mod author clearly doesn't want me to murder him to death. We saved that little girl back at the farmhouse. Yes, we did. Wait, wait. There's something else. Were we... You know... What, together? Yeah, together. Not really, but... Oh, Guardian. I'm sorry. You like to pick flowers, the red ones. You want to pick some flowers? Why don't we sit by the fire? We can talk there. You go ahead. I just want to take the scene in a moment longer. Okie dokie. I almost fell. That would have been embarrassing. All right, I don't remember which one, which I'm, which one I'm allowed to sit in. I think I'm supposed to sit in the chair, and she sits on the stump. Wait, where? Where'd she go? she over there still? Yeah, she's there. I, I couldn't see her past the tree. Yep. Just sitting on a chair waiting for Rigmore. Here she comes. This is like real life. Always waiting for, uh... Waiting for the ladies. Even when you are a lady, you're waiting for the ladies. That looks really painful on your butt. Ow, 
Oh, she just went right for it. All right, dialogue available. Do you remember you sang me a song here? Where's your horse? <laughs> My favorite thing. Yeah, right. In your dreams. It's true, just right there by the fire. Did you like it? It was a special moment, Rigmore, truly. So much a special moment that I played it twice and tried to kiss you, and you were like, uh-uh. You're kidding, right? No, honestly, I wouldn't lie to you. And I... I told you my name. And... And that I had to change it because of my mom. Because... They killed my dad, Guardian. I don't know if I want to remember. It's okay, don't be afraid of who you are. There's so much to tell. How much about me do you know? I know you are a fine warrior and that your father would have been proud of you. Aww. I don't know about that, Guardian. I know there's a part of me that fits your description of a warrior. But it seems so long ago that I was ever that. I can't envision it right now. Don't even want to. It was only like two episodes ago. You might have to be that person again sooner than you think. Can we change the subject? What else? What else do you know of me? I know you could be a stubborn pain in the ass. <laughs> See, you're doing good. Don't hold back. Ah. Mom, Dad, Cyrodiil. I wonder if I'll ever be able to go home. I think it's all coming together. For good or worse. I guess I'll have to face it as it comes back. I know there are some things that I would rather not remember. And some things about me I would rather forget, for which I carry the scars. Some things I've done I am not proud of, but at least I don't feel angry anymore. I... I just feel so tired. Me too, I'm always tired. What was that tune you were humming? Oh. Just something I picked up some time ago. Can you sing it? Sing it? No. I, I don't know. Go on, it might help. I used to sing a long time ago. So I might be a bit rusty, so bear with me. Come sail away with me Out of the darkness and into the light Come sail away with me On a river of tears I've cried Into the promised land We can begin again Lift up our hearts and build a new society. Come sail away with me out of the darkness and into the light. Come sail away with me on a river of tears I've cried. And will have no fear of their swords and spears. Together we'll stand proud and tall. Or together we will die and fall. The true price of freedom. The true price of freedom. That was very nice. That was amazing. You wrote that? It was a song I learned in Valenwood from an old Red Guard. He'd been there since. 
I don't know. Like forever. It is a little distracting with the horse <laughs> into the background a thousand times. What was his name? I'm sorry. You won't have to face this alone. Thank you, Guardian. Why don't you rest a while? I'll watch over you. Yes, I will. Just for a little while. Watch over Rigmarsh. She sleeps. Wake her up when you are ready. So I'm just going to be creepy and I'm just going to <laughs> just stare right here and stare at her. Oh, God. All right, it's 9.27 p.m. She said she was tired. We'll give her we'll give her 11 hours. So I'm literally just going to stand here for 11 hours and stare at her while she sleeps. Not... Not even a little creepy, right? Wake up. Hey, sleepyhead. You ready to move on? Are we going to the farmhouse? I thought we might visit White Run. Uh oh. I've not been to White Run. Hey, that would be cool. Grab your gear. We can stop off and get something to eat and drink. Okay, let's go. Oh. She put her hood back on. Okay, I've not been to White Run, so let's try this. Wait, where are you going? Where's your horse? I'm sorry. You should be. I don't know why I hit the button. All right. Any chance you want to get on the horse? No. Yeah, I don't even know why I'm bothering. We're just gonna fast travel as close to White Run as we can get, which uh, where the heck is White Run? Right there, you silly goose. Why is it saying? No, I've definitely, like I said, I've definitely not been to White Run, uh, but we can go to the farm because we did go past when the uh, werewolves were killing the giant. That whole scripted event there. All right, I don't remember what happens when you go to White Run the first time. It's like eight years ago for me. Is Rigmore here? Did I lose Rigmore? Wait, how did I? How did she not fast travel with me? That's never happened before. Why would she not suddenly not have fast traveled with me? Uh, that's super odd. Where the heck were we now? I don't remember where that camp was. I have zero idea why suddenly this time she would not fast travel. So I'm going to have to travel. Alright, so she's on the horse. So we're going to fast travel <laughs> to the farm together like always. Right? All right, so she didn't take the horse, but she's here at least. Okay, so White Run. We got to go up here. White Run. It's true. A jester, funny suit and all. Just north by the Laurius farm. Who had a coffin in a cart with a broken wheel. I'd like to see him laugh his way out of that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, sounds like you've had quite the journey, Uthka. But you were gone longer than usual. I got to thinking maybe you weren't coming back. You sound like my ma. 
Figured I was lying dead in the field somewhere, is that it? Thought did cross my mind, yeah. War brewing, talk of a riot in Helgen, that Mount Jester's? Skyrim's gone mad, girl. You need to be careful, yeah. Careful, huh? Thanks, Skullbar. I'll remember that. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't remember any of that. Okay. Let's go into Whiterun. There might be other scripted events for the first time that you visit Whiterun that I don't recall. Because I have not been to Whiterun in like eight years. So we'll find out when we get in here. I remember the layout of Whiterun pretty well. I think I do, at least in my head. But yeah, I don't remember what happens the first time you come here. City's clothes with the dragons about. Official business only. Uh, I have news from Helgen about the dragon attack. Fine, but we'll be keeping an eye on you. Okay. Have you taken an arrow to the knee? Now it said I'm supposed to take her to White Run, and we're 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 here. So I'm confused. I don't have a quest marker or anything. Maybe this is not going to be the last episode. White Run discovered. We'll pay whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. I just can't fill an order that size on my own. Why don't you swallow that stubborn pride of yours and ask Yorland Greymane for help? <laughs> I'd sooner bend my knee to Ulfring's Stormcloak. Besides, Greymane would never make steel for the Legion. Have it your way. I'll take the job, but don't expect a miracle. Alright, so that was another little scripted event. I wanted them to finish talking before I talked to her. Well, we're here. Welcome to Whiterun. Okay, what's the plan? Come on, let's go to the Bannered Mare. We can sit down and talk. Like, how do I even know the Bannered Mare exists? I've never been here before. I guess maybe I've heard rumors about it. I heard that there's this really good restaurant. Okay, after you. Okie dokie. So same thing as before. I don't know. Is this my house? Yep. I don't have it yet, obviously. Say Helgen got hit by a dragon. I don't remember if there's anything scripted that happens the first time you enter the Bannered Mare, so I guess we'll find that out too. Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. Are you pushing me? Alright. So I think we are... Okay, we have to deal with the annoying music. But that's fine. Sadia, wake up, dear. Yes, mum. You want a drink? Uh... Depends. Are you thirsty? Hungry? Both. Uh... I mean, I'm... I'm... I guess I'm... Uh... <laughs> I'll take an apple pie. Ooh, and a boiled cream treat. And two cooked bass and what else? What else do we get? Apples. Apples are always good. I only want two. Sweet roll. Heck yeah. And I think that's good. Depends. Are you thirsty? Hungry, both. I just realized we didn't buy anything to drink. All right, it, it appears to be no non-alcoholic choices, so there, we'll get a blood wine. All right. Now, please, no more questions. I was, I, I wasn't asking you questions. Say, hey, I got, I got food. Can I get you something, a drink, something to eat? Yeah, I just bought a bunch of stuff. Uh, uh, I'm fine. It's nice and warm in here. Rigmore, 
Has coming here helped you in any way to remember, I mean? How would coming here help her to remember? We never once came here or were scripted to come here for the mod. It's helped a lot. I still feel a little confused. But I think all that before, you know, the anger, it's all gone now. I'm guessing that the mod author would have assumed that you were going to be doing vanilla while doing the mod, and thus we would have came here at some point. You have to help me here. Maybe a few yes and no questions if you don't mind? Sure. Okay, I'll mention a few things that happened, okay? And you tell me yes or no. Blink once for twice and yes for no. Okay. Azura? Yes. Diamond Ridge? Yes. The altar? No. New World Order? Yes. Do you remember what happened after Diamond Ridge? Uh-huh. They took me down the mountain. I remember a stream and a huge city carved into the rocks. He was furious. He had a big argument with some other Thalmor, but these guys were different. More important. But they placed me in a cell, and when they came for me, he was not with them. I tried to struggle, but they hit me and forced me to drink something and place a sack over my head. That's about it, until I... Sounds pretty kinky. I think we can leave it there, but why won't you hold a blade? I want my life back. I realize now it was all a lie. How my life has never been mine? Not really. I want to rediscover myself without the point of my blade in someone's guts, without blood in the dirt. I want to discover why I have this dream I keep having, what it is she's trying to tell me. I want to feel the warmth of the sun on my face again, and, and I want to go home. I don't want to care about that bastard anymore. I don't want to be afraid or have to keep looking over my shoulder. I don't want to live with the killer inside of me, to be a chosen one or be the son I never was or ever could be. I want to be free, Guardian. And I don't want to play this game anymore! Be yelling at me for? <laughs> Welcome back. By the gods. I feel sick. I remember everything. Dragonborn, why are you even here? Why are you helping me? Because I would you. Because I care for you. And I care for you too. More than you will ever know. I think you know that, right? You told me you loved me once. And I still do. I do love you. I love you with all my heart, oh my silly dragonborn. Where do we go from here? That is for you to decide when the time is right. But you must be honest with me and honest to yourself. I won't let you go again. I want you here by my side. I can't think of anywhere I would rather be at this moment. I'm glad we came here. Why don't we just relax and enjoy the music for a while? Okay. But if that bard plays that song again... Which one? Ragnar the Red, which he's literally singing right now? <laughs> Whatever. But then he went quiet, did Ragnar the Red, when he met the shield maiden Matilda, who said... Oh, you talk and you lie and you drink all our mead. Now I think it's high time that you lie down and bleed. Hey, Wilbur. So then came clashing. Need something. Can I make a request? Sure. What can I do for you? Uh, not Ragnar the Red. Uh, whatever this is, I guess? Only true Imperials request that one. This is an ode to Skyrim's staunch protectors, 
the Imperials. And we drink to our youth, today's come and gone. For the age of aggression is just about done. Is that better? We'll drive out the storm cloaks and restore what we own. With our blood and our steel, we will take back our home. Not, not, not quite sure what we're supposed to be doing right here. Was, oh, this dude's dirty, hairy arm right in my face. Hmm. Does this have a word with the bard? I, I did. Okay. But this land is ours, and we'll see it wiped clean. Sinmar is jamming. That has sullied our hopes and our He's, uh, not even remotely on. Hey, asshole, sing that song again, and it'll be your head rolling across the floor. I'll sing any song I do. I ain't mind. done nothing. Is that so? We'll see about that. Get uh, out. This is a fine establishment. Get out before I call the guards. Hey, lady. Get out of my face. Uh, guards! Guards! What seems to be the problem? Wait, what's Get happening? Get them out of here. You're both barred. Okay, you two. You heard the lady. Hey, this place stinks. We don't care. Okay. That's no way for a lady to behave. What? Why are you looking at me? Who said I was a lady? We, out you go. We just got kicked out of the bar. <laughs> I was not expecting that. I ain't done nothing. Vegans, I can handle but this talk of dragons. World's gone mad, I say. Okay. What? So now what are am I doing? looking at me? So what are we doing now? Thanks for more for getting a sword out of the better mare. Hey, don't mention it. <laughs> that was a crazy laugh. Oh my god. You really are something. Where shall we go now? How about we visit the College of Winterhold? <laughs> yeah, okay. I always wanted to go there. See what I can find out about my past. Leave White Run through the outer gate. Okay, that's specific. It's like basically it's like saying, "Hey, don't just fast travel from right here." So I won't. Are you wearing the same dress as me? I think you are. I spend a lot of time at the market stall so I can learn the merchant's trade. I need more experience. All right, let's head out through this gate because it told me to, and I'm a good boy and I listen. I don't want to break the mod. We've been doing really good. Haven't had any real surprises. I own the Pelagia farm just outside the city walls. Nimriel takes good care of things for me. We didn't want to come to White Run anyway. Oh, is that why we had to go out here? So we got that silly scripted uh, comment from her. All right. So can I now fast travel to the? No. No. Something else must be happening. All right. I had my years of war and fighting. Senseless. Did you take an arrow to the knee? Surprised she hasn't said, hey, wait up yet. And... Guardian, wait. Over there. Where, 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 where we were just running off to? Pathing. What? Where are we going? Why are we just running? Why did we? Okay. Brigmore, what is it? Yeah, why are we just jetting and leaving the horse behind? It was here. The battlefield in my dreams. Oh. I remember the walls of the castle. There was a storm. 
This is the place where the little girl brought me. Did you manage to complete the dream? No. Something's missing. It always ends here. Has there been a battle here before? It's not just a dream. I think it's a premonition. I don't I don't I don't know if there's been a battle here before. I I'm sorry. What? This is where they will come. Look, there's a camp over there. Why don't we camp here and stay the night? It might help me know what she's trying to tell me. Good idea. We can can continue in the morning and even visit Cassius if you like. Yes, I would like that. <laughs> you can continue with your interrogation if you'd like. Come on. No, oh, it's like that camp over there with the giant. <laughs> but no, there's one. There's one over here. Okay. So, are you gonna sleep again? Is that what's happening? Are we supposed to be chit-chatting? Hey, okay to talk? Alright, squatting Slav, are we okay to talk? Sure. Alright, we're doing the whole sitting on the spiky log thing again. Wait. There you go. We're not too far from the city. We should be safe. You know, I love it out in the open. Since I arrived in Skyrim, I've gotten quite used to it. So we'd rather sleep out here than in a cozy inn? Every time. Just as well, seeing as we just got thrown out of one. <laughs> it's dangerous out here in the open, and you should protect yourself. I know you're not happy with how I've changed, but it's what I want. Anyway, I got you, right? My guardian angel. What if something happened to me, like before, last time we got lucky? What will be, will be. If I was to die tomorrow, I would at least die happy. I mean, look at all these beautiful stars. What do you think they're made of? Do you think people live on the moons? Yes. I thought the moons were made from cheese. I almost said that. That's hilarious. <laughs> Come on, you don't believe that, do you? It's true! You're kidding, right? Rigmore, we need to talk about us. What a segue from moon cheese to serious conversation. About how we feel about each other? Yes. Okay. Where do we start? You know how I feel about you. And I know it's probably a one-way thing if you don't feel the same way. We have been together for so long that it seems like forever. You came for me. You were there for me. You saved my life again and again. You awakened me inside. I feel like a woman for the first time in my life. But it's okay. I'm a big girl now. I can handle it if it's not what you want. What's important is that you are honest about how you feel. At least then, we can move on. I do feel the same way. Like have, I feel like I've never not said that every chance I've had. To, I guess they're like, are you really, 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 really sure? Yes, I do feel the same way. So we can be together? Don't just say it if you don't mean it. I do mean it. Since when? Since like the first time we did it like five or six episodes ago. I've had feelings for you for some time. I knew I had feelings for you after you made me cry. Until then, I didn't know whether I loved you or hated you. But you said I was just a stupid kid. After that, I didn't know what I was anymore. On the journey back to Angie's, all I could think about was what I had done wrong and how stupid I was and how right you were. I didn't mean that, not really. After the Azura thing, I felt I couldn't carry on. The burden was crushing me. 
The only thing that kept me going was to find my mom and have you by my side. That I could finally go home and you might love me. And I love you with all my heart. Dragonborn, will you lie with me tonight? Oh my, I couldn't even kiss her in that other uh, episode. Only if you're sure it's what you want. I've never been more sure of anything in my life. Kiss me. Okay. Aww. She put her leg up and everything. How cute. I wonder what it's like kissing because she they're so furry. She's going to get a hairball. I'm ruining the moment. I'm sorry. Wait here. Just for a moment. Am I allowed to go in now? Sit beside Rigmore and talk to her. Look at that back. It looks worse than the last time I saw it. Oh, what kind of angle is this? Oh, I'm super close. Hello. Rigmore? Where's your, <laughs> where's your horse? <laughs> I'm wretched and ugly. How can anyone love me? I love you. My body is scarred. I'll understand if you don't want to. Everything that makes you who you are is why I love you so much. That is, that is very true. Not to get too real for a moment, but when you're in love, you love all the person's perfection, imperfections. Dragonborn, are you sure? With all my heart, body, and soul. Oh, my dragonborn. All right. Completed sit beside Rigmore and talk to her, let her rest, wake her up in the morning. I don't know if I let her rest, to be honest with you. But she's laid back down. <laughs> Alright. So, I mean, I can be creepy and stand over her again. It's 9.40 p.m. We'll do another... Another... Yeah, we'll do 12 hours again. We'll let her rest. Because we love her so much. I don't think we've killed one thing this episode, have we? Alright, girl, wake up. It's morning. You good to go? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. How are you feeling? different <laughs> why did they kick me out of dialogue about last night you regretting it no but but what it was okay wasn't it of course well what is it rigmer do you think we could really be together I thought we were going to say, let's do it again, let's do it again, let's do it again. Why not? Rigmore, we are both girls. That's not really an issue in Skyrim, right? I didn't, I didn't think it was an issue. And again, I didn't know there was going to be romance when I chose my character for this. And? Come on. No one bats an eyelid about that kind of thing these days. 
What matters is that we have feelings for each other. I agree. It's nobody's business what we do. Damn right. You mean that? Hey, if anyone's got a problem with us being together, that's their problem, not ours. <laughs> Let's face it. You've got to be pretty damn stupid to piss us off, right? True that. Thanks, Rigmore. I needed to hear that. It's cool. Did you dream last night? Yes. It was more vivid this time. She was waiting for me on this battlefield. It was pouring with rain. The fighting was over and the dead lay everywhere. She was laughing and skipping through the butchered and cleaved, scaring off the crows. When she saw me, she came right over to me and picked up the sword from the ground. It was so heavy, but she smiled at me and struggling, lifted it as high as she could above her head. And she shouted at the top of her voice. Freedom. Anything else? She drew a line in the dirt with the sword and then held it out for me to take. But as I tried to take it, she held out her other hand for something in return. But I didn't have what she wanted, so she stopped smiling. Then it went dark. I heard her sobbing again, but I couldn't find her. What could she want? I don't know. Maybe I never will. Rigmore, are you sure you're okay? Dragonborn, I'm okay, okay? Come on, let's go see Cassius. I thought we were going to the College of Winterhold. I'm so confused. Did it did it or did it not give me What happened to go into college winter hold? This is so weird. Alright, where's Cassius? Alright, so he's at his camp. But she we were we were supposed to go to college of winter hold. What if I take her to the College Winterhold first? I'm going to the College Winterhold first because <laughs> they clearly said to do that and then we got all distracted and decided to uh, copulate. I have no idea what to do here. I'm working on some very important research, I assure you. Okay. You know, they say knowledge is its own reward. Restoration is a perfectly valid school of magic, and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Alright. Well, we came here. <laughs> kind of pointless, I guess. Because that's not... Somehow it changed. It was like go there and then then we then not go there. So let's go see Cassius. I'm just as confused as you are. All right, let's go find uh, Marble Mouth. Where is he? Cassius, come out and play. I see you in your tent. Oh wait. Hey Cassius. Well met Rigmore. So good to see you looking better. We're going to the College of Winterhold. I'm hoping to learn about my family. Is there something wrong? Alright, so so I jumped the gun again with trying to go to Winterhold. Oh god. I s just do what the mod tells you to do. Stop, stop trying to come up with things on your own, apparently. What is it? 
Rigmore hasn't been feeling too well after everything she has been through. I see. I noticed you no longer wear your armor. Or a weapon. I hope this isn't permanent. You'll be needing it shortly. Hey, I don't want to go back there, okay? As far as I know, my part in this is done. Rigmore, there is the threat of an imminent invasion. Have you forgotten that? I'll just let you all take care of that. Armies fight armies, right? Not young girls. What if this young girl was to lead an army? Hmm. Interesting. Cassius, is it time for the second battle, Hoover Dam? What is it? What's all this about, Cassius? I don't know how or why, but for the last few days, scores of old Nord warriors have been arriving at Ingol's camp from all over Tamriel. They want to see you, Rigmore. Why are you telling me this? They are your father's old brigade, the sons of Talos. They have come to pledge their swords and lives to follow you. Like it or not, they have sworn loyalty to you and you alone. They don't even know me. I won't do it. I can't do it. You need to get a grip on yourself, young lady. These men, <laughs> we will need them in the coming battle. The fate of Skyrim, no, Tamriel even, could depend on you. You need to sort this out, Dragonborn. Whatever it takes. She needs to address these men. Hey, I'm right here, okay? I'm not invisible. And no! I won't do it. I can't do it. You can't make me. Cassius, thanks, buddy. I just... I got her... Whoa. In it. An old Nordic ruin. Okay, okay. I got. I guess got her straight now, and then you got her all worked up again. Thanks, buddy. Seriously. You know how I feel about that. Hey. Take that, jerk. What is it? <laughs> Cassie has enough. Can't you see she's not well? I. That was it? Then why he didn't say sons I'm sorry, of sorry, my child. Please forgive me. Sons of hey, Talos. Everything is going to be okay. You don't have to do anything you don't want to. How about we pretend? All you need to do is go to Ingol's camp and say a few words. Rally them. You can borrow some steel plate I have here and a sword, only to help out. That's all. Could you do that? I'll try. Go after Rigmar and make sure she's okay. Listen, I just want to take her to the College of Winterhold. Hey, girl. I'm sorry, Cassius is a jerk. Hey, we'll cross that bridge together when we come to it, okay? Okay. I'll be right back. Okay. Where, where am I going? Hey, you bum. Hey. Do you... <laughs> Do you have any idea how long it's taken me to break through to her? Yeah, I mean, seriously, dude. I didn't realize she was in such a bad way, Dragonborn. Please forgive me. I can only hope she recovers in time. We will need her. For the second battle, Hoover Dam? Alright, I already did that joke. <laughs> well, we might have to do it without her. Sons or no sons, get used to that idea. Sons of Talos! Of course. It breaks my heart to see her like that, truly. But she must address the sons of Talos. I'll prepare her the best I can, then I'm going to take her home. Until next time. I swear by the gods, the next one to upset you like that, I'll cleave them into two. Forget it. Let's just go, can we? Meet Malisam at the College of Winterhold. Awesome. Well, I had a strong suspicion that this was going to be the last episode. We fought nothing. 
in this episode. I don't think that's ever happened before. <laughs> in any of the videos that I've made in any of my series, I don't know that there's been... I almost want to just run into the woods and kill a frost spider. Uh, but it is what it is. It's, this was very plot heavy. It's the end of the mod and we're wrapping up the story. I guess I'm really enjoying it. But yeah, it was, uh, it was a strange episode. If you made it with me this far into the episode, I greatly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. I mean that sincerely. I'm not trying to be cheesy or hokey. Uh, if you subscribe, please let me know because YouTube 90% of the time does not let me know. And I'll give you a shout out. I'll say pretty much anything within the reason. With all that being said, goodbye and good night, Khajiits.